Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Welcome to B'nai Zion. If you have never been here before, we're very glad that you're here. And we're kind of sad because you can't tell how much more wonderful and lovely it is in here now than it would have been a year ago. <laughs> Uh, we have renovated, and uh, the sound is better. All kinds of things have improved. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out is that we are, we believe, live streaming the service. And that means that if you wanted to watch this and you are not here right now, you could be watching it online. And if uh, you want to watch it again, because he does such a wonderful job, you can watch it again because it's going to be archived as well. If you have never, uh, if you've been here before, hi, I'm glad to see you again. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's great to be here for an opportunity when we're celebrating. Um, if you haven't been here before, I want to show you how the prayer book works. A prayer book is called a sidor, which you may recognize as sounding an awful lot like the word seder, which means that it follows a specific order. That's what the words mean. So we will more or less just start at one page and kind of keep going through. If you see that we're, uh, if we're doing Hebrew, we usually we don't say the same thing in Hebrew that we also say in English. There are a few prayers that we do both in Hebrew and in English. Usually it's one or the other. And it should be pretty easy to follow. Uh, if you look, for example, we're starting at page 65. You will see that there are different font styles, and the font styles help us to know who's leading, and there are parts where if you like, you're welcome to join us. The italic parts are designed for congregations to join. Um, you'll notice that when there's Hebrew, there's also usually a transliteration, which means looks like English, sounds like Hebrew, if you were to try it with us, and you're welcome to. Um, I promise you that Garrett is not reading from the transliteration. I promise that he's really reading from the Hebrew. Um, if you see people standing and you are comfortable standing up and being ready to sit down again, then you're welcome to stand and sit with us. We usually stand when a portion of the service is very important or for other reasons that I'll describe later. If it's uncomfortable for you to stand and sit, please remain seated. That's really fine. Um, or if you don't want to stand, you're welcome to stay seated. We still are glad you're here. Today we are celebrating a number of things. Uh, it's not just Shabbat, but it's also the fact that David Brainus is turning 13 and in a, what? oh, not David. David has already done that. <laughs> that was a while ago. A wish. A wish. Yeah, see, I keep thinking David didn't do a bar mitzvah ceremony. So I thought, come on, no, no, just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> Garrett Brainus is turning 13, which means he is becoming a bar mitzvah, which means literally son of the commandment which means that he is officially obligated to the commandments that the adults are, com are obligated to. Being an adult in Jewish tradition doesn't mean you can drive a car or uh, other vehicles, <laughs> but, but, he'll, but he's getting there. Um, and I don't want to take up too much time with this because I want you to get to the part where Garrett <laughs> is going to be conducting his part of the service. But we begin our service as we usually do. Shabbat is a time of rest, and Shabbat is a time with no stress. So we usually start Shabbat services here, recognizing that at least some of us have had very stressful weeks, and we like to get rid of the stress. So we take a deep breath. We let it out slowly. And we try it again. Like you really mean it. Like your shoulders are looser and you're a little more, look, he's got his color, his face isn't only red anymore. Um, it's a relaxed, wonderful time where all of the lists and the to-do things are left out the door. If you forgot to do something, mom, it's okay, it's done anyway, it's gonna be what it is. All the lists are done and, and you're not gonna worry about anything now. We're going to just relax and enjoy a worship experience together. Tonight, Garrett has suggested, has offered the honor of helping us welcome Shabbat by lighting, blessing the candles and the wine to his friends who have been his friends his whole life, Nancy and Gary Abrams, if they would come up. We're turning to page 65. We welcome Shabbat by blessing candles and wine as a symbol of joy. 
page 65. And our tradition is that if we were at home, we'd all stand for this. So please rise. You're in our home now. It's as if we were at home. Oh, wait, hold on. The thing about having to, uh, the thing about, okay, you're good. We need to be a mic microphone so that the people who are watching in Israel right now can hear you. As these candles give light to all who behold them, so may we give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melo halam, asher kiddishanu, b'mitzvotah, vitzivanu, lahadlik ne'er shel shabbat. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe, who hallow us with your mitzvah and command us to kindle the lights of shabbat. Amen. Let there be joy. Let, Let there, there be light. light. Let there be peace. Let, Let there, there be shabbat. shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivahanu lehadlik ner, lehadlik ner, shel shabbat. We continue with the Kiddush on pages 167 and 166. We have plenty of seats up in front if you're an usher and you want to send people to the front. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, bore pri hagaf. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Amen. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You call us to holiness with the mitzvah of Shabbat, the sign of your love, a reminder of your creative work, and of our liberation from Egyptian bondage, our day of days. On Shabbat especially, we hearken to your call to serve you as a holy people. We praise you, O God, for the holiness of Shabbat. Amen. L'chaim. You may be seated. Please say Shabbat Shalom, welcome, good Shabbos to someone near you. Huh? Shabbat Shalom to someone who's sitting near you, to someone you came in with, to someone you didn't come in with. Make sure everybody near you said Shabbat Shalom to somebody else. Let's see if I can do this. We continue again on page 66. We have really good imaginations in Jewish tradition. And in this version of our imagination, we welcome Shabbat as if Shabbat is our bride. So you didn't know you were coming to a bar mitzvah and a wedding today. Shabbat is our bride and we are the groom. On page 66, we welcome our bride. <laughs> Lechado di lihi krat kala, pene shabbat ni kabela. Shahamor vizachor vidibur echad, ishmi anu el hameyuchad. Adonai echad, ushemo echad, ushemo tifer en litina. Lechado di lihi krat kala. Shabbat Nekabela Adonai Shabbat Lechado di di krat kala, pene shabbat ni kabela. Lechado di di krat kala, pene shabbat ni kabela. Hit ore, Lechado di li krat 
Shabbat Shalom, Hene Shabbat Nikabela. Bohi Vishalom, a terred by Allah, Gamba Simcha Uve Tohola, Tohemune Am Segula, Bohi Hala, Bohi Hala. One more time. Lecha Dodi, Lehi Krat Kala. Shabbat Nikabela, Lecha Dodi, Lehi Krat Kala, Pene Shabbat Nikabela. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness and of the impulse within us for justice and mercy, we pray that this hour of worship may be one of vision and inspiration. Help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter this sanctuary in search and in, and in need. need. All, all who, who bring, bring to this place the offering of their hearts. hearts. May our, our worship here lead us to fulfill our words and intentions with acts of kindness, of kindness peace, and love. love. Amen. We have come together to strengthen our bonds with our people Israel. Like Jews of generations past, we celebrate the grandeur of creation. Like Jews of every age, we echo our people's ancient call for justice. Our celebration is a sharing of memory and hope. We are Jews, but each of us is unique. We stand apart and alone, with differing feelings and insights. And yet, we are not entirely alone and separate, for we are children of one people and one heritage. Our celebration unites many separate selves into a single chorus. And we are one in search of life's meaning. All of us know despair and exaltation. All of us have moments of weakness and times of strength. All sing songs of sorrow and love. May our celebration bring us strength along our way. In this circle of hope, in the presence of the sacred, may the heart come to know itself and its best, finding a fresh impulse to love the good. May our celebration lead us to work for the good. And may, and may this, this Shabbat, Shabbat give strength, strength to, to us and, and to our, our people, people Israel. Israel. Many are the generations of Israel, and in every age we have sought living God through Sabbath rest and worship. This time and place hold the power to increase our joy in the eternal. O God, even as we seek you in the sanctuary, help us to know that your glory fills all space. Make us understand that you are with us at all times, if we but open our minds to you. We feel, we feel the, the presence, presence of your spirit in our homes and on our ways. We see, see the beauty of your creation in mountain, sea, and sky, and in the human form. We hear you in the silence of our own hearts, speaking the truths the heart knows. May we be your witness to the world, your messenger to all the earth. May we show forth your image within us, the divine spark that makes us human. Amen. 
As the day departs, as the dark of night descends, we lift our eyes to the heavens. In awe and wonder, our hearts cry out. Eternal God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And yet within us abides a a vast universe. (laughs) Who can know it? What mind can fathom it? We look out to the endless suns and ask, what are we? What are our dreams and our hopes? What are we that you are mindful of us? What are we that you should care for us? And yet, yet within within us us abides abides a measure of your spirit. spirit. You are remote, but oh, how near. Ordering the stars and the vast solitudes of the dark, yet whispering in our minds that you are closer than the air we breathe. For you have made us little less than divine and crowned us with glory and honor. With love and awe, we turn to you. And then at the dark of evening, we seek the light of your presence. One and only God, you have made each of us unique and formed us to be united in one family of life. Be with us, eternal one, as we seek to unite our lives with your power and your love. We We proclaim proclaim now your oneness oneness and our own hope hope for unity. unity. We We acclaim your your creative power in the universe universe and in ourselves, ourselves, the law that that binds binds world to world world and heart to heart. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha b'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha ve'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavecha hayom al levavcha v'shinan tam levanecha v'ibata habam. Beshivtecha ha betecha, uvelechtecha ha vaderech, uveshoch becha ha, uvekumecha, uksartam leot aha yadecha, vehayu letotafot bein einecha, uchetavtam avizuzot betecha, uvisharecha. Leman tuskeru, vasitem et kobitotai, vitem kiroshim, lelohechem, ani adonai elohechem, asher hotseit yetchem, meeretz mitzrayim, liot lachem, lelohim, ani. Adonai Eloheichem. You shall love your eternal God with all, with all your heart, with all, with all your mind, with all, with all your being. being. Set, Set these, these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. 
I am your eternal God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness, a world still waiting to be redeemed, give us a source of good, the courage to say, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and your love. From Egypt, the house of bondage, we were delivered. At Sinai, amid peals of thunder, we bound ourselves to your purpose. Inscribed, inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, we survived oppression and exile, time and again overcoming the forces that would have destroyed us. Our, our failings, failings are, are many. many. Our, our faults are great. great. Yet it, it has been, been our glory to bear witness to our God, God and to, to keep, keep alive in dark ages the vision of a world redeemed. May this vision never fade. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we sing with one accord as Moses, Miriam, and Israel sang at the shores of the sea. <laughs> Amar, and it has been said, the Eternal One delivered Jacob and redeemed us from the hand of one stronger than ourselves, Baruch Atah Adonai, Ga'al Yisrael. We praise you, O God, Redeemer of Israel. O God of, o God of Israel, may our worship on this day help us to grow in loyalty to our covenant with you and to the day of life it demands, the way of gentleness and justice, the path of truth and of peace. That was my cue. I needed my guitar. <laughs> You sit down, and I take the guitar, I which is down. wrapped around here. Sorry, I forgot. I was so busy listening to how well he was doing that I forgot this was my cue. Dum -ti -dum -ti -dum. We're singing in the middle of page 75. Yisrael Hashabat la sodet hashabat le dorot hamerit olam beni uven bene Israel od hi le olam od hi le olam od hi le olam bishameru vene Israel et hashabat. La sot et hashabat le dorot hamerit olam ki sheshet yamim asa Adonai asa Adonai et hashamayim veet haaretz vishameru vene Israel et hashabat. La sot et hashabat le dorot hamerit olam uvayom hashvi shavat vayinafash shavat vayinafash shavat vayinafash vishameru vene Israel et hashabat. La sot et hashabat le dorot hamerit olam. Please rise for the tefillah, which begins on page seventy-six. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufi yagi Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu velohe avoteinu v'imoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, 
Velohe Yaakov, Velohe Sarah, Velohe Rivka, Velohe Leah, Velohe Rachel, Hael Hagadol, Hagibor, Hanora, El Elion, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakov, Vizoche Haste Avot Vimahot, Ume Vigula Livne Vnehem, Liban Shimo Behava. Melech Hozer Mashiach Mage, Baruch Atah Adonai, Mage Navraham Vezrat Sarah. Your might, O God, is everlasting. Help us to use our strength for good. You are the source of life and blessing. Help us to choose life for ourselves and our children. You are the support of the falling. Help us to lift up the fallen. You are the author of freedom. Help, Help us, us to free, free the captive. captive. You are our hope in death as in life. Help, Help us to keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Your might, O oh God, is everlasting. Help, Help us to use our strength for good. You are holy. Your name is holy. And those who strive to be holy declare your glory day by day. Baruch HaTadonai HaEl HaKadosh. We praise you, Eternal One, the Holy God. Ismehu Shabbat God of Israel, may our worship on this Sabbath bring us near to all that is high and holy. May it bind the generations in bonds of love and sharing and unite us with our people in common hope and faith. And through Sabbath rest and worship, may we learn to find fulfillment and joy in the vision of peace for all the world. You are with us in our prayer, in our love and our doubt, in our longing to feel your presence and do your will. You are the still, clear voice within us. There it is. <laughs> Therefore, O oh God, when doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble and pain clouds the mind, we look inward for the answer to our prayers, and there may we find you, and there find courage, insight, and endurance. And let our worship bring us closer to one another, that all Israel and all who seek you may find new strength for your service. Eternal, Eternal source, source of good, of good we, we give thanks for the numberless gifts and blessings that fill our days, for life itself and its endless variety, for all that sustains body and mind, for love and friendship, for the delights of the senses, and for the excellence of your Torah, which deepens our life and enriches our days. Teach us, God of wonders, to work for a just and compassionate society where all may share your gifts in the joy of freedom. We pray for peace.
שלום רב ישראל עמך, תשים לעולם, וטוב בעיניך לברך את עמך ישראל, בכל עת ובחושה, בשלומך. שלום רב ישראל עמך, תשים לעולם. שלום רב ישראל עמך, תשים לעולם. תשים לעולם. תשים Until this point, the words that we've been praying are words that have been put in our mouths by people who have come before us. My favorite part of the service is the part that comes now when we get to pray the prayers that are in our own hearts. We take a moment and we pray silently. Except for him. <laughs> I remember when you looked like that. of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, be acceptable to you. God, my rock, my rock, and my Redeemer, God, my rock and Redeemer. At this point in our service, Our prayers and our hearts turn to those who are ill and recuperating as we turn to the inside back cover of our prayer book. It's here somewhere. Well, we will find it after. I will find it. For now... If you have people for whom you would like us to be praying, I invite you to call their names out. For all these names, for the names we choose to hold in our hearts and not say out loud, we pray together. O oh God, God, in, in our, our hearts, hearts we name those who are facing illness and pain. We join, join our, our prayers, prayers with the prayers of all who love them. Give them renewed comfort and courage. Strengthen in them the healing powers you have placed within us all. Guide the hands and hearts of those who are entrusted with their care. May the knowledge of your love and ours give added hope to them and to their dear ones. May they find even greater strength because our prayers are linked to this. Baruch atah Adonai, Rofeh HaCholim, we praise you, eternal God, the source of healing and health. And it has become our tradition to add, Mishaberach avotenu v'imotenu, may the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we have entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom and protecting us. In this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they have been called to serve. May they return home safely and let us say, Amen. Amen. The next part of our service 
is the Torah service. This is the part where, it's the, the part that Garrett has been practicing, I'd say, the most. It used to be the part he was most nervous about, but it isn't anymore because he's really good at this part. But it is the part that in some ways, two things. It's more difficult than what he's done so far because for those of you who have never read Hebrew, for those of you who've read Hebrew, you know why it's harder because there's no punctuation, there's no vowel, it's handwritten, and so that's difficult to, to read. For those of you who have never read Hebrew before, if you look at any page with Hebrew, you'll see there's little dots and dashes underneath the letters, there's punctuation, but there's none in the Torah. And the commandment about the Torah is that, not that you're obligated to read it out loud, but that you who are here are obligated to hear it. So he's been practicing well enough so that he'll read it, and if you were listening and you understood the Hebrew, you'd know what he was saying, because he does a great job of reading it. Um, if you don't know the Hebrew, don't worry, because he will translate it after he's done. Um, for those of you who just don't know any Hebrew, they're there. There are a few of them. I saw them nodding, saying, yes, please, some English. Let me tell you some of the other things you need to know about our Torah service. The Torah, for those of you who don't know, includes the five books of Moses. We are just starting over again at the beginning of Genesis. Last week was the first week. Today we are in the Torah portion, which starts with the story about Noah, but continues all the way until the story of Babel, the Tower of Babel, in a pinch more. And uh, when Garrett and I were started studying this Torah portion, when we knew what day he was going to choose for this, for his bar mitzvah, for becoming a bar mitzvah, um, he had a choice of all of that. And after a lot of discussion, he chose the end of the Torah portion and the story of Babel. But I hope that you're also familiar with Noah and know that's all part of where we are right now in the Torah selection. Exactly, the Noah part. That's the kids' favorites. Um, I wanted to let you know that when we take out the Torah, you will notice that we have a tradition to honor the words that are in the Torah. So we rise when the Torah is standing and we sit only when the Torah is down again, again, if it's comfortable for you. One of the things we're going to do that you may find kind of unique is that we are going to march around with the Torah. The Torah is going to come up this aisle and back down that aisle. And it does so because we want you to see that the words in the Torah, even though the Torahs are stored in a gorgeous ark, they're our words and they belong to us and they belong down where we are. And so the Torah comes out and you get to show that it's your Torah. Some people do that by taking, you gotta stand up for this part. You gotta take your Torah, you're gonna, it's gonna come by. You may all be able to squish to the end of the aisle, but you may not all squish to the end of the aisle. So if you're not at the end and you wanna kiss and you're all the way at that end, so the Torah comes by, here's the Torah. I can touch the Torah and kiss. I can use my hand and touch and kiss. But if you're somewhere else at the end of the aisle, you could do what we call Torah kiss electricity. So watch again, ready? Very easy. You see, it's easy, it works. The Torah kiss electricity works. And so everybody down the aisle can have touched the Torah and kissed it if you want. No one is obligated, but it's kind of a nice thing. You can sit again for a second. Um, Garrett has chosen to honor his family to help him with the Torah service. They will have honors about the Torah. I don't want anybody here to worry that maybe you are going to, we're gonna say, come on down, we're, no. The people, most of the people who have honors know about it. I think there's at least one person who doesn't, but that's okay, we'll be here to help you. Um, and the other thing I wanted to tell you about is pretty soon during this service, we will have a time when Garrett's sisters and her cousins will be handing out refreshment. No, no, no. They're gonna be handing out some candy soon. I'm gonna put it here and I will tell you when it's time. It is not supposed to be for you to eat it, not yet at least. It's supposed to be so that you can show Garrett how sweet learning is by gently tossing the candy at him. This is, despite their parents' most, the, their, their best efforts, this is not very soft candy. They think it's soft, but let me tell you, when it's coming from the other side of the sanctuary, it's not very soft. But um, he will be standing back there. I want you to notice that one of the things in the new sanctuary is a glass, <laughs> glass door to the ark. And I want you to notice that for some reason we decided that bowl-shaped lights were a lovely addition, and they are. They look lovely, but do not let your candy get into the bowl-shaped lights, please. Um, you will see when they, they will be handing it out, and I will signal to you when it is time to gently, everybody say, 
gently toss it to show him how sweet learning is, not to give him a concussion on his bar mitzvah day, um, and not to break our, our sanctuary, please. So having said all that, you'll know when that comes because I will show you and the girls will be helping and they'll hand out candy, um, just letting you know. And uh, so we turn in our service to page 141. And we would like to invite Robbie and Kathy to begin to make their way up, please, for the first honor. Page 141. Assembled at a mountain, our people, still bent from oppression, found you, found your Torah, found your truth, and embraced the destiny that has shaped worlds. Help, Help us still to shape, shape the world, world according, according to your will. will. Help, Help us, us to teach and to learn, learn to, to hear, hear your, your word, word anew, and to find in it our path to goodness and truth. Please turn to the middle of page 142 and rise as the ark is open. At the bottom of 142, let us declare the greatness of our God and give honor to the Torah. House of Jacob, come, let us walk by the light of our God. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonainu, Kadosh Shemo. Magnify the Eternal One with me, and together let us exalt God's name as we sing the song that's at the bottom of page 141. <laughs> nope. oh, that's all Ah, uh, that's, that's where you are. <laughs> I told okay. you we're jumping around a little for this. Right. <laughs> we got it? Yes, I've got it. Devarim, here we go. Ashlosha divarim, Ashlosha divarim, Sorry, okay? okay? Pass the kisses. Ashlosha divarim. 